Hey, Darren Daily On Demand listeners, producer Mariana here with a quick message before we get started today. We are so delighted to hear how so many of you are enjoying receiving your Darren Daily On Demand each day. It makes all the love and hard work we put into it worth it. If you are loving it, we would really appreciate it if you would give it your five-star review and leave your enthusiastic comment on the podcast platform you're receiving this on. It helps others find their way to us and helps us expand the Better Everyday movement further and farther. And once again, thank you for being on this continual and never-ending growth journey with us. Now, let's get to today's episode. Welcome to Darren Daily On Demand, your most trusted resource to help you become better every day. Here's your success mentor, Darren Hardy. Welcome back. So yesterday we discussed your problem with solving problems or your additive bias, our inherent and primitive default compulsion to adding stuff to fix stuff or improve stuff. When subtraction or simplification and removing stuff is often the better way to make things better and solve complex problems. Today, let's investigate a few areas of your life where you might start looking to subtract some stuff to make some stuff better. Let's say that you're in sales and you need to make more sales. Think about it. What do you do? What do you think you should do if you wanna make more sales? What do you think? Your compulsion would probably be add more prospecting hours, add more networking meetings, Add expanded prospect groups to your targeting efforts. Add more advertising campaigns. Add more marketing channels. Add more posts on social media. Add more email follow-ups to unresponsive clients. Add more lead magnets to attract more traffic. Add more selling points to the copy on the sales page or brochure or pitch deck to try to convert more, etc. When in reality, you should probably subtract and eliminate all those low probability endeavors that we just mentioned. Subtraction will allow you to refocus your time, attention, and creative capacity to your fastest, your easiest, your most efficient, and highest probability efforts, which would be things like selling more to the existing clients who already love and are buying from you now, and cultivating more referrals from your most raving fan clients. And even within that existing client pool, there's probably 80% of those that should be subtracted from your efforts in order to give more love and energy to the deserving 20% that have already proven to be your best buyers, buying the most and most frequently, and your most evangelical advocates referring the most to you already. Do you see how subtraction is the better answer, even though your first inclination was to add? Let's say that you wanna be a better parent. Instead of adding more hours that you are home, or showing up to more practices, recitals, and games, volunteering at their school, making cookies for their bake sale, maybe consider subtracting all the other things that you're doing when you're home with your kids so that you could be fully present and engaged with your family, whole head, heart, and thumbs, instead of being there physically, but not really mentally, emotionally, and most certainly not with them spiritually. Most probably, The best way to be a better parent is to subtract lots of other demands, obligations, and distractions on your attention so that you can be there, not just in presence, but in attention, not just physically, but mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Consider this, parents. Quantity without quality feels dismissive and causes insecurity. Quality, even without quantity, is validating. It's nourishing, and it helps build healthy humans. So let's run through a few areas of your life. Let's say you wanna get fit or be healthier. Start with what you need to subtract from your diet and your lifestyle before you focus on what you might need to do additionally. You wanna build a better product. Think about what you can subtract. What is the absolute minimum required to produce the solution that your buyer needs and cares about most? You want your landing page to convert better. Figure out all the things that you can subtract from the page to focus attention on the things that matter the most. As the author of The Little Prince wrote, subtract things from the solution until there's nothing left to take away. Let's say you wanna love your home more, feel better in your living room or your bedroom. Start with what you should subtract rather than thinking about the things that you need to add. For most every problem you have, for most every situation that you wanna improve, most often the answer lies in what you should subtract not add, even though that is always gonna be your first inclination. At least from this point forward, when presented with a problem, when trying to improve something, first consider what should be subtracted, even if only to bring to the surface and the forefront what should be prioritized and focused on. Are you with me here? Was that helpful? 
What we've covered can be an absolute game changer in being able to problem solve and accelerate your improvement if you really captured what we discussed here. We'll see. Identify a current problem you have or a current solution that you want to improve and jot down your notes in your Darren Daily Journal. All those things that you will subtract to make them better.